Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's just me again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually work the example that I had hoped to be able to work last night um, or in class, uh, depending upon which class you were in. So what I have is I have eight data points over here to the left um, that are designated as random variable X. And we are going to deal with this um, as if it was, oops, let me make my pen a little bit bigger, um, as if this was sample data. All right. So this is sample data. You have to excuse me, I'm getting used to this new tablet thing. So what we're going to do, remember we have to start with the variance because we have to go through the variance to get to the standard deviation. And so the variance is simply going to be the sum of x minus x bar squared, simply taking the distance each value falls from the mean. Because this is a sample, I've got to take n minus 1, and that's going to give me the variance. Ooh, that's terrible. Because I know that the relationship between the variance and the standard deviation, simply that the square root of the variance is equal to the standard deviation. So, what I've got to do is, first thing I've got to look at, if I look up here in my formula, I know that I need x bar. X bar is simply the mean, so it's simply the average, and I find that by taking the sum of the x's and dividing them by n. So in this case, I'm going to add 430, 529, 45, and according to my magic calculator, I get that that's 32, and I count up my data points, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them. 32 divided by 8, even with my math, comes up to 4. So now I know that x bar equals 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm simply going to say how far does each individual value fall from the mean? And when I get that answer, I'm going to square it. And it just depends on how complex the numbers are as to whether you do it in one or two steps. So I'm going to say 4 minus x bar of 4 equals 0 squared equals 0. Done that one. 3 minus 4 equals a negative 1 squared gives me 1. Done. I know that this one is going to be 0 minus 4 is going to give me a right, 0 minus 4, right? It's going to give me a negative 4 squared. It's going to give me 16. Lost my spot there a minute for a second. 5 is going to be 5 minus 4. It's going to give me 1 squared. It's going to give me 1. 2 minus 4. It's going to give me a negative 2. I'm going to square that. And that's going to give me a 4. I'm going to take 9 minus 4. That's going to give me a 5. Remember, I've got to square it. It's going to give me a 25. Done with that one. 4 minus 4 is still 0. 0 squared is still 0. And then again, 5 minus 4 equals 1 squared. And 1 times 1 is 1. So all of this little math that I've just done right in here is simply getting the top of this formula up here. And so what we have to know now is that I've got to deal with this little thing here that says sum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to add all these together. And what that's going to look like, it's going to be 0 plus 1 plus 16 plus 1 plus 4, plus 25, plus 0, plus 1. And if I come over here, I'm going to say that that gives me S squared. In the numerator of 48. Now I've got to divide. Remember, it's a sample. Since it's a sample, it's N minus 1. Um, 8 minus 1 is 7. So what that gives me is 48 divided by 7, 
which gives me 6.8571. Remember, the variance is an intermediary calculation to get to the standard deviation, so I'm not going to round at this point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get S, standard deviation, so I'm going to take the square root of 6.8571, and that's going to give me a standard deviation equal to 2.61. Generally, I'm going to round to probably one decimal place beyond my raw data. My raw data was all whole numbers, so I'm going to round that just to 2.6. And so now what I know is that for this set over here of um, eight observations or eight pieces of raw data, I know that the mean was 4, the standard deviation is 2.6, and from that point I could do all kinds of um, nifty statistics stuff and um, you know do all kinds of curve stuff. So happy, and I will see you guys later.